Oh you never God. understand living wages, yeah? Or like London wages. I can't live. <laughs> I can't live. What do you mean? How is it a living wage what if I'm barely mean? getting by? Oh, please. Yeah. I prayed that for the last like two days with that one in mind. Then this morning, do you know how it's so weird, guys? This morning I was in the kitchen. My dad comes up to me and goes, oh yeah, by the way. Hey, hey guys. guys. <laughs> Look where we are. Welcome back to episode oh 34. How did you get here? We tell them what was that, guys? <laughs> what was that? I don't know what was that, guys. <laughs> How did we actually get here? Oh my god, oh my new god. mics, new headphones, All I'm new gonna say, background. guys. New mindset, new gal, new... Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um, and also, guys, we've been speaking about this yeah. before. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, whatever she said. Oh, go on, what are you oh, going to say? What was I saying? Oh yeah, we've been speaking about this for a while. I mean, behind the scenes. So we're just excited to announce it to you guys, but yeah. It's not a new studio, but it's a new studio. But it's just a new space. But you'll understand a bit later on in the video, so don't you worry. Yeah. Just stay tuned. If you actually want to know, stay tuned. And guys, yeah. I just want to say one thing. Our headphones are finally connected, not connected to the desk. Wait! We finally got not locks. connected to the desk. We ain't got locks. I'm not locked no out. No security locks. I'm not in the ghetto anymore. We <laughs> <laughs> made it out. <laughs> no, we ain't got locks and we've got wireless um, mics. You know, we're, we're doing it better. <laughs> We're doing a proper 2023 just yeah. for you lot, yeah? Life's changed just a little bit, but don't get too comfortable. We might change location. Yeah. yeah. If we're feeling like it though. Yeah. yeah. It's if we get us. bored, you know, you might say, do you know what? It's a bit boring for me. Let me go somewhere else. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I'll stay next episode. Oh, we're back in time. <laughs> Imagine. God forbid. Oh, I yeah, am trying not. to be seen. <laughs> Again, that, was, that was the name of the old studio. Do, we do not recommend. It's you not even recommend. one of them ones. It's not them. Actually, to be fair, to, for starting podcast. For starters, I'm going to be honest. Go yeah, do it. Yeah. Because it recommend. did us. Guys, can we deep it? We literally got up to 50K in yeah. that studio. Like, come on. And it is very, very, it's very beginner friendly, that yeah. place. But after that little customer service issue I had the other day, remember how rude he was? Oh, yeah, true. <gasps> We're Never not going to talk again. about that. We're not going to talk yep, about yep, that. Yep, 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 but yep. I'm going to be honest. I'm very, very grateful. To <laughs> like, they got us to where we obviously are right now. Yeah. So. Why am I giving them Hats free promo? They actually did not. Nah, take that out. Sorry. Keep beeping it. Sorry again. Nothing yeah, from keep me. Keep beeping it. Hats off to you. Literally hold that. No, but um, but guys, happy Ramadan. It's the month yes. of Ramadan. We're Ramadan not fasting Ramadan. right now, but obviously, as in, we're not oh, fasting we right it. now. As in, we yep. broke it a couple of hours ago. Yeah. So, yeah. Put down below in the comments what day you're watching this on and how you're finding it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we like to be involved. And where you're from, where you're fasting at. And what uh, time you lost iftar is? Because I know in some countries yeah. it's a bit mad. I think it's like true. in F Finland, I think Iceland. it's like Iceland, Iceland has the longest yeah, yeah. one. Where what, it's like, they like eat for two hours. <laughs> yes, yeah, no, something literally. like that. Something like that. They're, it's crazy. Um, they break it at like ten p.m. with bare bum. <laughs> you know, then... it's weird. When I was in year nine, my sister's in year nine. This will make sense later. When I was in year nine, well, when we were all in year nine. We broke our fast around 9 30, 10 because it was yeah. summer times and it was hot. It was really oh, hard. Yeah. It was this. So it was difficult. it was one of the first years a lot of us started fasting because obviously mm. women first, women stuff. And yeah, it was just very hard. Like we had it the hardest. Like we just got thrown in the deep end. My sister's now in year nine. <laughs> And she's breaking it at 6.30, 7.30. You know what I found out I as well? I was like, you, you little girl. Apparently for the next three or four years, y it's yeah. going to be in... Keep um, going back. Yeah, yeah. keep going back. No, it's yeah. never going to be in summer again, the yeah. way that we had it. Yeah, it's not, it's not. Huh? It's not. <laughs> yeah. <But> yeah. <laughs> as in, it's 10 days back <laughs> every single time. Yeah. Guys. So they're not going to ever have it as hard as we had it. Well, yeah, they will but eventually. I saw, but nah, yeah, not like, for another like 10 years or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. they obviously will eventually. We're all gonna, it's shot the <laughs> in shot live. No one's getting the point I'm making. I, I get the point, I'm yes, sure. It's not, it's not gonna be, it's gonna be <laughs> in winter for a very long time. Yes, yes. therefore they don't get our struggle. Yes. Thank you, that's awesome. Mm. I should do, you don't understand my <laughs> Y'all have never you don't been there. Y'all don't yeah. remember 9 p.m. iftar time flipping. No, it was at 9 I shot, it was like 9.30, 9.45. It was like summer peak. It was bad, it was bad. July heat. I'm passing my birthday vibes. Speaking of, it's their birthday. Day soon, and then <laughs> it's the fact that it's the fourth fast now. It's in your birthday, isn't it? No, or it's the third, I think. Oh, it's, it's the, the second for me, but third for you. Oh, it? It started you scraped <laughs> it! I scraped it in 2021. It yeah, it started on her. I don't mind though, I actually quite like it. No, it is nice. Yeah, yeah. So it's nice. I'm saying it's not like your third birthday. But I was, it was turned up. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> she wasn't. <laughs> what is she on the phone? Wait, what did we do? Because we, we did nothing. Like what were we doing without us? <laughs> Speaking of Ramadan, guys, da, da, we da, are doing a massive Ramadan campaign this month. Woo! And we're basically raising money for Syria, inshallah. And what we're doing and what the campaign is, is building homes in Syria for those... Safe homes. Yeah, safe homes. We'll have, what is it, two bedrooms, a kitchen, 
a toilet and it'll have water supply yeah. and a concrete roof, inshallah. And inshallah. our aim is three thousand pounds to build one house and our aim is to build sixteen. I know that sounds like a lot. But we can do it. We can do it. We guys. can do it. Guys. I believe do in it. the YouTube family. I believe in the Spotify family, and I believe in the Insta family. Exactly. You lot and are Apple Podcasts. Of. Come on, Sorry. don't really them. And Apple Instagram. Oh, just throw them in there as well. Yeah. No, uh, okay, but good, yeah, good, good. I think I think if we all literally like deep in how many thousands of views do we get if everyone just puts one pound? Yeah. Like, you don't realise how much a pound 30p, 40p can change. Mm. The There's 50,000 of you guys, and I know for a fact that every single one of you want to help. Do you know what I mean? Like, just deep it, yeah? You don't have to be Muslim or 100%. from Syria or... Do you know what I mean? You don't have to relate to... 100%. ...want to donate. Oh, just imagine. Oh, 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 oh bars, 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 bars. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's the title. I'm joking. <laughs> but anyways, nah, guys. Just deep, just deep how happy you, you... Like, you'll make one family. Deep it. One yeah. family... One. Also, I do want to mention, it, since it's the month of Ramadan, even if you listen to this after, technically the, the link won't be live after. But anyways, since it's the month of Ramadan, every good deed you do now will be multiplied by 70. Mm -hmm. So one pound is as if you donated 70. 10 pounds is as if you donated... 700. 700. Well done. Quick maths. Hey, two plus two is four. But Mine's yeah, in eight. case we weren't clear before, guys, this is for um, the earthquake victims in Syria that were displaced. So these are orphans, women, children, men, families that literally don't have a place to live right now. Like their homes are destructed. Destructed? Is that a word? Yeah, destructed. You, do, you know what? I do yeah, want to say. Yeah, destructed. Yeah. So please do your part to help and... Um, Inshallah, we can get these people housed. Speaking of as well, another another thing we'll be doing that links to the Ramadan campaign is that we'll be having an event in Birmingham, which Woo! all the money that is um, collected will go Every single penny, guys. Year. Every single penny. Yeah, so We've been seeing. Sorry, there's God. only tickets. If it sells out by the time this is out, I'm sorry. And we've heard that you lot in Brum actually want us to come down. After our event in London, I've you lot were screaming, come to comments. Birmingham. I've we're coming. Aisha, we're coming. Whatever the date is, wherever the location is, just insert right here. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I do want to say pat on the back because we've already built two homes, inshallah. And we've yeah, raised honestly. 6,000 pounds as of now. Ooh. And inshallah, there's 14 that we need to do in the next few days of Ramadan. So, yeah, two families are going to be helped right now and you have the power to literally help 14 more. Deep it. Why don't we go silent? Now back to the yeah. end. Oh, no, oh. Yeah. Of course it's recording. Okay. Oh, yo, Tara, I never said that before. I can't see Make it. sure you include that. I've never <laughs> said that before. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've never said it before. In. How's these four days been for you, Lot? Because obviously I, I started it. a bit later, so it's not, not been the same. You've all had Ramadan, though. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's just been simple. Like, I haven't been hungry. But, but uh, do you know what it is, yeah. though? I eat at, like, 8 o'clock anyway. So it wasn't really that different for me, to mm. be honest. That's the same with me. Mm. Like I One meal a day, girl. Yeah. yeah. And I eat around 9 <laughs> It's so 10. bad. I told you guys about my, oh, my yeah, time Oh, yeah, it's table. like 10 p.m., isn't it? So alhamdulillah, it's actually been very easy. But it's also a mental game. And it's also, mm. like, your body, now that it knows you're fasting, will tell you you're hungry. Yeah. So it's also a mental game. It's and it's also spiritual because mm. you need to do more. Yeah. Without it's less. so weird. If I have food in front of me, that makes me hungry. Like, that never used to be the thing for me in really? Ramadan. Yeah, like, the, uh, today... <laughs> <laughs> Today I went to Tesco in it and I went to buy snacks and stuff and just groceries for the house. Mm. And then my snacks was on my bed, right? Oh, you snapped it off. <laughs> yeah, oh, she snapped yeah. it off at 3 p.m. I want you to do it like this. <laughs> and then I deeped. I'm getting hungry. Why am I hungry? And I deep it's because the snacks in front of me and I'm excited to eat it. All right, excited again. So that needed to like not be there. And then as soon as I literally, it was out of sight, out of mind type of thing. What's when it wasn't one? there, I didn't get hungry. What's one thing in Ramadan you like want to focus on? Like, what's one thing you want to come out and you be like, I worked on that, alhamdulillah. Everything. Do you know what? Do you not have one thing? Like, no, do you not have one thing? I have mine. Same. You say yours first then. You say yours first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you say yours first. You say yours first. <laughs> I call the shots. I asked the question. Okay. Uh, but you asked the question. Get out of my studio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Um, okay, no, my one is, but then I don't, I feel like it's not actually something to work on. But it kind of is. Everything There's is always something. something to work I don't know. On. I feel like making the air and kind of like believing in that. I feel like I, I want to yeah. work on more. Having belief. Like the thing is, though, is that it's not more so having. I don't know. Having to work on, having better to work on. No, I don't think it's that because I do have that. But it's just I feel like when I make it, I'm like, okay, cool. Like I know it's gonna happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen now. And I think uh. I just like I want to have more. 
belief that's gonna happen in I that moment. I saw a moment. video the other day. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I saw a video the other day that was like, be delusional. With I saw your that as well. I saw that as well. Yeah. And it's so true because mm. like, why are we not? Do- we're like, limited we as not? humans. There's only so much we can do, but Allah is unlimited. That's like, what I'm saying. Nothing Lim- is impossible for Allah. Yeah. Do you know what it is? I unlimited. feel like there's always like a yeah, time of <laughs> limit. I don't know why. Like I feel like they, like it's a time thing. Like I always feel like, do you know what? Yeah. I know, I, like I know it's gonna happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen now. But like that's my issue personally. Like yeah. I always say, yeah, I know it's gonna happen soon. I don't think it's gonna but happen I now. But I have to actually believe that you you do realize that it can it happen could. now. It like generally could, could happen ask, now. Like let let me give you guys an example back home of how, like, how Allah can make anything happen. If you pray to Zaha sincerely, and it was written for you, whatever you prayed for. Let's say for example, you prayed to go to Mexico tomorrow. You're broke. There's no, you haven't booked a flight, nothing's happened. Mm. But I'm gonna mm. pray for going to Mexico tomorrow. You might wake up the next day and you might get an email saying, do you know what I mean? Allah will to, make yeah, me yeah. Yeah. happen in a way where happen. you don't, you never expected it to happen, yeah. but it happened in a way yeah. that it works in your favor. No. Oh my God, I have an example of that. Literally, the, uh, no, literally today. And it scared me guys. Can I give my first step? Oh yeah, yeah, go on. Um, mine is modesty. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to work one. on my modesty and I want to... In what um, ways though? Like in speech, in like clothes, clothes, in what? Okay, cool. Definitely speech because, um, yeah, a bit reckless there. <laughs> but more so in clothes. Like I just, yeah. I feel like, I, like it's so childish wearing jeans. It actually I just, is quite like, light. It trousers is. are so childish it to is, me. I is. know. I actually like, think about that every day. Same. Like what? I'm a girl and I want to be perceived as like an elegant girl. Mm. Why don't I just dress like, like it? Why am I wearing, like, like, like so, why am I wearing the... The I think most on trend shoes and the most and the jeans and the why you can still be elegant in trousers. Like I've seen girls wear trousers. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. That's why I said jeans. Like why no, am jeans. I still wearing oh. like the things that are just you know? And speaking of modesty, I just want to quickly say that this video is sponsored by Lyra Swim. <laughs> <laughs> Lyra Swim is a swimwear brand that caters to all women. It is inclusive for those that want to observe modesty, doesn't matter what faith you are, if you're plus size, and if you need skin protection. Yep, and basically, if you're someone like me that gets burnt from the sun really easily, it has high UV protection. So it's the material is made out of Italian carbico, which basically protects you from UV. So if you guys want to know more, you can get a worldwide shipping and next day delivery. Guys, I've used Lyra Swimwear before and I can vouch for them. The feeling, the comfortability, how I felt in it. And she looked good. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're somebody that's looking for bikinis or if you're looking for modest wear and you want to be protected, but also get in a pool without having people look at you, <laughs> get that <Lyra> somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Guys, if you want more information about this, if you want to see more about them, they're on Vogue. Interesting. Ooh. They're on The Guardian. Interesting. And Big also boys. you can find them on Lyra Swim on all socials as well as lyraswimwear.com. And now back to the video. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a story, guys. And yeah. literally, it gave me chills today. I was literally like, this isn't real. Yeah. And the thing is, I don't even know if I should be speaking about this on the podcast, but... Yeah, say it. Do you know what? Well, if I don't want to put it in, I'll just tell you to cut it out. I shall. Yeah. Anyway, so basically, I was watching our sisters, the digital sisterhood. <gasps> guys, wait, fangirl moment. What? They follow us on the Instagram. Fangirl moment. So she, I don't know who I am. <laughs> <Yeah>. What? <laughs> anyway. It's literally a fangirl moment. So I was, li- I was what we also called. So I basically was, um, yeah, I was at home. And then I heard the episode, season three, episode one, I think it is, like the oh, newest I episode. I mean- then I basically, I don't want to spoil it for you. I don't mind. Okay, basically what happened was, I then made... And she basically said that she basically wants to be in a position to take her parents to Umrah. That's all the videos. This is the video, right? About yeah, it, to, to Umrah. And by the way, guys, she literally had no money. Like, mm. she said, you know what? I'm going to be delusional. I think that I can do it. So let's just see. Do you know what I mean? And then she would, and then she basically did it in the end. She was like, she didn't have the means. She didn't have the she means, have the nothing, nothing, guys, yeah. nothing. And then I was like to myself, do you know? Oh, also, she had this kind of like thing where she made like a, um, a list of like things that like she'll sure, like ask for in prayer, like prayers. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, let me actually do that because I always like, it's just me, but I forget. Like my dad's all the time. Like I literally, like I finish be like, oh, I forgot that one. Like I always forget. Oh my forget. god, you're right, you're right. Me. Yeah, I'm the I, same. I always just forget the ones that I make, and I'm like, you know what? Let me just write it all down so that I remember them. Yeah, cool. I wrote it down. Yeah. Then I added a new one last night. I was like, if she did it, I want to do it. I was like, I want to be in a position yes. to take my, my dad there one day. Like I was going to be in a position to do that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So then I prayed to Hajj or whatever. To Hajj is night prayer. To Hajj, yeah. It said that that prayer isn't like an arrow that never misses. Yeah. So I prayed to Hajj, and then what happened? Yeah, I prayed that for the last like two days with that one in mind. Then this morning, do you know how it's so weird, guys? This morning I was in the kitchen 
my dad comes up to me and goes, oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to Umbra next week. And I was like- Shut up. I was like, like, what? Gave me goosebumps. <laughs> what? I was what? like, what? even though it wasn't in the way that I obviously asked for it, because I said that like, I want to take him. He still, yeah, but he like, gives he's, you, he's still able to go. Access, listen, like, let me tell you yeah. something. When he asks wow. your dahaz, it means that he's giving yeah. you something that's better for you. And it's, do you know what I mean? That was better for you. Like so he bad. still said, you know what? He's still going. Like, and I was, I was sat there and I was like, <laughs> and, oh and then he just kind of was me, oh yeah, like I'm going next week, like I'm waiting for my visa or whatever. Da, da, da. And <gasps> like just so casual. And, and no then, tip, tell him not to do that. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Um, basically just, to, uh, we'll go on that. Okay, come. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, so when you're going, he was like, yeah, next week. And then I'm coming back on like E-Day. And I was like, <sighs> I was like, so like, it's all planned. He's like, yeah, yeah, like it's all That's planned. That's so da, da, da. And I just sat there and I was like, this is crazy. And that just taught me, be delusional, guys. Please, be delusional. If that is not an be example, delusional. I don't know what will be. What and guys, I mean? the thing is that I didn't expect it at all. I didn't expect it. Yeah. Like, that's the last thing that I expected. That's so crazy. But, you know, yeah. That's, that's my story. But the pro tip is to tell him to do his visa once he arrives. Because when you apply, guys, just pro tip for anyone that's going on, mm -hmm. always planning to. When you, when you apply for a visa from here, it is not guaranteed that will be accepted. So okay. when we all went, my brothers got rejected twice and they're 150 pound each. Ooh. You get it? And they don't return your money. So we had to do it the third time once we arrived and they got accepted right there and then. Oh, okay. And they sense. tell you never to do it online there. Do the visa when you arrive. Yeah, they because it's, it's just before <coughs> you leave. Do you get yeah. it? Like, they're like, oh, where's your visa? And then there's a section where you can just do the visa there. That makes upon sense. Arrival. Do you get it? That makes sense. So his might get rejected. So it's not risky doing it there. No, they have a whole section for you to do it upon arrival for people that oh. didn't do it. Do you get it? Okay. Mm. So it's just, so like, is there don't risk no way that like people get sent back if it's not yeah. accepted like no 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 like, they accept it right there once, once they yeah arrive. it's the whole oh, it's the okay. same process online that's right there Do you oh get i see it? okay yeah. makes sense makes it's sense. just online that it's i don't know it's, i don't know they just can like my brother had no reason for to be rejected yeah exactly he, he's like he <laughs> and, what's he done <laughs> yeah and they don't give you a reason they just literally say got rejected try again and then the guy when we went to saudi was like you should have never done it twice He's like, you should have just always come here. Basically, just never do it twice. Wow. <laughs> but anyways, that's crazy. yeah, that's just guys. Oh, cash loss yeah. as well. Cash oh. loss. But yeah, I don't know. That, that scared me, guys. I was scared. And I said, so I need to be delusional. I love that. I can't but lie. Yeah. I need to st now I'm going to go home and like, these most delusional. Delusion, bro. Delusion I'm works. telling you, <laughs> say just the most outlandish rap. What's the most, like, works. weird, it's like, that's your, yeah. yeah, no, not even like what? weird a story of like you asked for something that you didn't even really want and it just got accepted. That you didn't really want? I don't know, like just oh. something like, oh yeah, I don't know. I don't even know why I said that. I don't even have an example <laughs> myself. Um, I don't, I don't know. know if I have one. But I can't like this Ramadan is very weird, yeah. It's unlike all the other Ramadans. Going into this Ramadan mm. and like right before Ramadan, yeah, it's so weird. Like my energy levels were so low. Mm. I was so fatigued all the time. Like I would just nap through the day. Like I was just yeah. constantly tired, yeah. And then as soon as Ramadan hit, you're like, <laughs> all of the character. I had a boost of energy. Like subhanAllah, it's so crazy, guys. Like I, I don't even need to sleep during the day. Like I usually, even mm. last Ramadan, like I would nap sometimes between dawn and Asr. Like now yeah. I just. I don't nap I as don't well. need to have energy. Like, I'm in the kitchen and I still won't feel tired. Yeah. Like, it's so crazy. Allahumma yeah. barik. But like, that, that is one of the things that I think Allah has, like, given me strength and just, like, yeah. Yeah. energy this Ramadan. And they cause... say the way your Ramadan goes, um, like, at the end, you'll know if it's accepted or not. Do you get it? Yeah. So, like, let's say you leave your Ramadan and then, like, you have, like, a feeling in your heart. And you're like, oh, do you think that like, was accepted? Yeah. It wasn't. Do you know what I mean? You'll know in your heart. Yeah. Mm. Do you get it? The more you do, and the more... And if you go back to your ways as well, I heard yeah, that. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you... Yeah, basically. I can't lie. No, 100%. 100%. But, yeah. Man. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't answer the question. Yeah, go on. You finally found one? one now. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Um, I think... I kind of... There's so many things. It's kind of both of your ones. Yeah. yeah. And like modesty, du'as, dikr, but also I really want to expand my knowledge of my deen because. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, what I like, well. Yeah, same. There's, like, I know the basics, but the, the basics is not enough. Like, yeah, there's still 100%. a lot that I don't know. And, yeah. like, it's far to literally. To literally re take like, it upon yourself and research. Your I don't the same like, amount as a five year old. Yeah, like, it's a bit yeah. I just know Duxi level. Like, that's actually childish. Duxi's like, Duxi 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 mosque. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> forgot about these ones. But um, yeah, definitely no, expanding my knowledge. Like, yeah. I it's so sad because I went to I went school mosque for four years, mm. guys. I learned everything about the prophets. I learned everything about all the battles. Everything. Got it's it all, all gone. It's all all yeah, so sad. Forgot so all. easy to forget. Yeah. It's like it's just I don't. Oh, when you don't constantly go yeah. back on it, it's like you know what I mean. Like we've left school. 
let's say 10 years ago, do you remember any of your GCSEs? No. Mm. Do you get it? Like, yeah, that's true, actually. When you're constantly revisiting things. It's the same with memorising the Quran. If you're not really? constantly yeah. going over that, it's going to leave you like this. It's yeah. actually so crazy. Oh, that's, that's so true. I wish I'd learned it at younger, but... I mean, alhamdulillah, regardless. Yeah, There's definitely. Always, I did definitely. learn the whole of just dirty and I forgot all. Not all, but you know yeah. what I mean, guys. Like, I don't yeah, remember yeah, a lot of it. Like, it's sad. Yeah. Like, you remember... Did you, you you get, as, as a kid, you, you're literally a sponge. Like, you just absorb yeah, so much information as a kid. So as a kid, I knew so much. It's ridiculous. I was walking ridiculous. around with the knowledge on my back. Yeah. I holding it. I was holding it. Back. Saying, yeah, and... Um, and <laughs> <laughs> literally. Ask your question, Ellen. Shout out to our parents for instilling being in us from young. Literally, honestly. That first something I want to take into my own mother. 100%, 100%. Like we're still in it in young, and but then mm-hmm. the only difference I would do is like revisiting yeah. constantly. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god, piggybacking off of that, <laughs> you guys, if you were not to raise your kids here, mm-hmm. where would you? Because I, I know you guys least, don't want to raise your kids here, and I, I know you love it. I've don't. always said it, but I love Egypt so much. Mm, I love okay, it that makes too sense. much. Yeah, yeah. And it's like in between ghetto and lifestyle. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's just yeah. the perfect humbleness, yeah. humbility. Egypt, humbly. Turkey, Dubai, like just. Turkey's a shout. Turkey's such a shout because of yeah. how inexpensive it is. But yeah. also, Egypt is such a shout as well. Recently, yeah. Egypt has just been selling it. Really like. Guys, Egypt's still war and I love that country. Oh. Mm. Like, I've been I selling feel like I could just do so there. much there as well. I am, t- I am saying that my next time. <laughs> we're going to Egypt, y'all are peace. No, you don't even have to make it. Like, we're coming. <laughs> No, no, no. Obviously, 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 you even got me. <laughs> All right. I'm not starving. Thank you, thank God, for you said. I'm joking. No, no, no. You oh. can plan, but Allah's the best of plans. Literally, planners. remember that. Yeah. You plan, and we plan, and Allah is the best of plans. I'm not going to learn it. Can we actually go this year? No, 100%. No, I can't. Oh. Like, I'm not going. What I mean, mean, as in, like, my family's not going. I, would go, I wouldn't go without my family. <laughs> She's not just saying she wants to go. As in, aren't you not coming with my family? Like, where are you going to oh, stay? Oh, 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 you might have, so you have family there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so, 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 so I can ask you go there. Like, would you ever go back to your homeland without your parents? Oh. Yeah. Hey, like, I don't know. I just wouldn't. Oh, I definitely would. I didn't think you saw Egypt as your homeland. It's like my second like, house, basically. Oh. My whole dad's family's there, basically. Mm, that makes sense. But yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't go, like, I wouldn't go back. I don't know. It's just one of them countries that like, you need your parents there. <laughs> But I if that. I was to go I to a different, I'm thinking about Cairo. But if I was to go to a different city, I would do that with you guys, like them tourist cities, like Sharm el Sheikh, Sharm el Sheikh, and all that. Yeah, yeah, I know you mean. All the like. Oh yeah, nice makes ones. sense. Makes but sense. But Cairo is nice. It's like I'm telling you guys, ghetto lifestyle. It's right <laughs> in the middle. It's right in the middle. No, it actually is true. Yeah. Actually, I know balance. so many people who literally have said, "You know what? I'm gonna like live there. I'm gonna live in Cairo." And I was just like, "Really? I'm, I might need to go to Cairo now. I don't yeah, know." Yeah, I, I w- do you know what it is? It's so sad. As much as I want to live in another country, I don't see myself living anywhere else but here. I know, I but I need to. I don't see it, but I want to. I think of the children. It. I was literally thinking about that. <laughs> think of the children. <laughs> Listen, I can't see it. Like, you know when you're trying to vision something, it's yeah. not coming in my think head. Think of the children, guys. Like, I'm so used to coming. London as a city and like, you know what I keep thinking? We turned out okay, but like, you can't nah, guarantee you can't that's going to be You can't guarantee that. I can't vision it. Can't I, like, a lot that. of people I know can only vision living out. Yeah. I yeah. can't. Like, yeah. I, it's just not no, in uh, my brain Yeah, no, comprehend. 100%. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I will constantly think that this is my home, even yeah. though... Yeah, like, even if I go back, I'll, I don't know, I'll be honest. No, not, not gonna lie, I'm, I'm the same. Like, I, I can't see myself... I'll get home soon. Anywhere else other than here. But then I have to think about it. I'm like, but my kids though. Like, do I actually want to raise my kids? I know. Yet. I know. But my kids. <laughs> my kids. Okay. I know little things would piss me off. Like, I'd be going shops and be like, oh, there's no contact. Let's London wouldn't be like this. Like, I saw. You look my kids. I should think I should think it's the UK. I hate when I can't find technology. Why did I put it? I just started patting her imaginary. I said, look at my kid. I was so in, like, I was so in, like, in, in the conversation. Combo, and she was like, look at my kid. I started patting her imaginary kid. Like, to get her to go away. But what I was trying to say oh, was, a lot ouch. of countries are, you know, like, they're Western yeah. lines. Nah, nah, nah. Has Egypt got contact list? Bro, go, oh, you're go to Dubs. <laughs> I know Egypt don't have other. It's a Dubai. cash team. It's a cash. Go Deep to Dubai. Dubai is cashless. Okay, yeah, but apparently. you have a good job and it won't be cashless. Get me that job, please. Just be rich and it won't be cashless. <laughs> no, wow. I sound like Kim. You sound like money, man. I sound like Kim. I sound like Kim. Same twenty-four hours. Get up and work. <laughs> Get up and work. <laughs> Who's Kim, Courtney, and um, Kylie? I yes. low-key think that I'm a little bit of Courtney. I don't know why. As soon as I said them for you, I was really? like, just Really? Yeah. I beg you respect bit... yourself. No. no. It's not bad. No, I actually no, she was just very she's like, dim. No, like, like, she's like, she's dim, you know? Like, like, not... <laughs> just because she's short. No, she's <laughs> dim. <laughs> I meant dim as in she's not, not like... No, 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 she's, she's not, not active. Dim means... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't know what you meant. Sure. I don't know what you thought. Dwarf, innit? Cut that out, like. <laughs> cut that out, cut that out, cut that out, cut out. No, but you can't, because that, that's actually a slur. Is Courtney going to watch this? No, it's, it's a slur, so no, you're going to say dwarf, no? No, no she never dwarf. said dwarf. I said dwarf. She did it, it's a cut out. But she, that's not a slur. It is a slur. Is it? I think it's a slur. No, midget is not dwarf. <laughs> <And> the, <laughs> that's like midget gums. Like, they're sweet. Oh, what? I didn't know that was sweet still. Midget, it's called midgets. I've never heard of their sweets. You've never had a midget sweet? We need to come with better. Um, how do you guys feel when it comes to what? fasting in the workplace and being a Muslim in the workplace? Because I have a few things to say. I have a lot of things to say, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> I'm blank. Like, I'm literally blank. No, come on, do I like. Number one, yeah. Industries need to become more... That's oh. what I'm gonna say. Oh, I wasn't even Clued up. That. What? But that too, like there's a lot, there's a lot to address about that. But I'm thinking about the way in the workplace that you're treated by non-Muslim co-workers compared to Muslim co-workers. Oh, 100%. Let's get into it. You know what? Yeah, (laughs) I think it's better. What? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I think it's better. But I'm talking about like HR and that. That's what I'm talking about. I'm, oh. I'm not talking about like oh, your actual, no, no. like, like, like people in that place. I'm talking about like actual colleagues. co-workers, literally oh. colleagues. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, that, they're much better. Anywhere I've ever worked, I feel like people are so, and I, I know this is not a single-handed experience. I know a lot of people have the same experience, yeah? yeah? If you grew up in the UK anyway. But... Non-Muslim co-workers are just so much more respectful yes. and wow. so much more accommodating. accommodating to your deen and to the fact that you're a Muslim woman compared yeah. to the Muslim boys yeah. in your workplace. And it's like, yeah, oh why God, are they a better example religion. than you? Yeah. It's a bit embarrassing, I can't I lie. I literally yeah. worked in a corporate job, the place where you should get the most hate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And they were the most respectful I've ever seen. I've yeah. worked in like Ikea, I've worked in like little places where there's like bare Muslim co mm. It's not the same, it's not the same vibe. Yeah. You feel like how a Muslim should feel. Like yeah. you feel like on a throne. Bro. Yes, yeah. Yeah. oh my God. Like, 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 just like respect. People are making way for me. No, Literally. don't touch her, she's a hijabi. She's a hijabi. Like, relax. Yes. Oh my God, but I'm gonna I buy sweets get... with gelatine free because she's the Literally. hijabi. Yeah. If it's tennis <laughs> restaurant, make sure it has halal food. Literally. Yes. Yeah. Like that type of thing. Yeah. Uh, now what's yeah. the I was speaking about, as in like Kate Char and stuff like that and just not accommodating to like our needs, like listen, I need to pray here. Can you make sure that I get a break uh, at this time? The, no, no, no. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, colleagues will do, like, colleagues will be absolutely, will be great. Do you know what I mean? The, I'm talking about, like, people, like, higher up will not respect it. The prayer thing is such an issue because every workplace I've had, they've always usually had an issue with it. I think that's the only thing that they, they've not respected because mm. there's so many prayers during the day. And if you're doing a long shift, it's a bit, it's like, you you keep going off for these breaks. Yeah. But if I ask you for a fag break, you wouldn't bat an eye. You wouldn't bat an yeah. And how many fag breaks do you take a day, David? How many? I can't lie. In the corporate job I worked in recently, they were very respectful. Like, I even had a room for it given in my office. That's so mm, cute. That's really yeah. cute. That's, that's really nice. And, like, there was one time before they knew what I was doing in that room because I would go in there quite a bit to, like, pray, obviously. I feel like corporate's and always more lenient. always more lenient, If you're, like, yeah. in retail or, like, you know, like, the lower yeah, yeah, end yeah. jobs, they're not going to beat They're, they're not going to end. They yeah. want you slaving away hour after hour, minute after minute counts. Like, they're literally counting down your breaks. And I don't get you're paying me less. Yeah. <laughs> like, who do you think you are? I'm literally in Ikea and I'm serving a customer candles. <laughs> what is that important to I me? Think I'm because, going to pray. Yeah. yeah. I think because they think you're not on a salary, they could take the piss. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah, that's true. I can't lie. You know what it is, yeah? I think it's people that are in lower paid jobs and are given higher roles feel like they are. Oh, I think it's a pride thing. Like it's here. honestly a pride thing, yeah. Jeremy, it's a pride thing. Like, and it's like, ignorant. To, yeah, no, but then people that are up there in like corporate jobs, they've been up there. They yeah. know how, like Jeremy, they don't care. Yeah. They need to flex it. Mm. Like, go pray, honey, you do you. Literally. Like, it's not affecting my paycheck. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, cry. that's what I'm like, saying. You pray. And they want you to put up with like, yeah. they want you to literally yeah. break your back for this job, but um, you're literally paying me living London living wage. <laughs> now, come off it now. You're literally paying me minimum wage and you want me oh to God. break my back for this job. Like, I will oh never understand living wages, yeah? Or like London wages. I can't live. <laughs> If I'm barely getting by, please. No, Alhamdulillah, no one struggled like that. We can't like that. No, I'm speaking. Oh no, no, I'm, I'm speaking for myself. I'm speaking for, for everyone, everyone who's yeah. on a London living wage that are struggling to live. I used to Why work with people London who had families, bro, and like they're coming into. No, nah, it's my so paycheck deep. is going on shoes, and theirs is to feed the family. Like, do you know how oh, deep it is? You know why? It's so well. deep. I hate. Um, 
what my point is. <laughs> Wait, I think I know what your point I is. What my point I think through. I know what your point is. <laughs> oh, I'm you I'm hate panicking. the fact that you worked in a job here and you don't really care about it, but like other people that like, are grinding no, because that's their oh. I, I love this shit. I tried. Like, I tried. I tried. Because that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that is Sorry. true. Oh, I got my point back. Woo! Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. 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 I hate the fact that they pay under 18s less than over 18s. They're working the same. Like, if I'm under 18, what if I live there? No, but if I'm under 18 is working, it's clearly that. necessary. Like, why? You, no yeah. one would send yeah. out their 17 year old to work unless it was necessary. Yeah. So, yeah. why are you paying that kid 100%. less? It's so deep. Because he's doing more than me now, yeah. and now he's getting paid 100%. less. And I feel oh my so God. unfair for them. Oh, no, 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 like, I have a controversial be, point sorry, as well. Go sorry, go on. No, I was gonna say it used to be under 21. And now it's under 18, yeah. and I hate that because what if someone is 17 and they need to work? That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm it's so bad. I'm literally getting irate. There's irate. literally 17 year olds that are in hostels, like have to live yeah. and like survive, and I literally pay rent and stuff. And for there's kids who are context, gotten kicked out of homes. Do you yeah, know what I mean? for context, this is like a UK thing. I don't know if it's outside the UK thing. I don't but know. But like under 18s get paid less. They get like literally minimum wage of like five pounds, but over 18 is like, oh, yeah. eight pounds 90. Like big difference. Do you get yeah, it? Yeah, 100%. Per hour. Yeah. Anyways. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I have a controversial point. But I don't think it's that controversial. Yeah, but yeah. I know someone in, in the comments is going to be like, yeah, but mm, yeah, but. Anyway, I believe you. Yeah. Okay, cool. So imagine, okay, for example, I'm going to use a YouTube example, yeah? You look in Ikea. Yes. Cool. And obviously, there were a lot of people who were older than you, yes. but worked these exact same job. Yes. I think they should get paid more. Same. No, right? I, I believe that. Yeah, right? But I know someone's going to be like, no, they, 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 because, they do the same wait, job. Because you know. think older people should be paid more? Yeah. Because like, I'm going to be honest, like, if they've got a family, didn't know, blah, blah. Oh, 100%. Blah, I'm literally using my paycheck Even if to get family. The, the latest shoes, to get the latest, no, no, no. Do you get it? Like, yeah. I don't have rent to uh, pay. But then again, but I don't think... it's against my point. Yeah, no. I know. I, don't think, I know. I don't that's, think, that's think your point. circumstances should change, like... I can't help that you have three kids. Like, that's not on me. Why I should I be paid less because of that? You know what that? it is? I think it's just, like, the emotional... Like, like, like and we're working the same job, and you're going to be paid yeah. more. That's not fair. But come Sorry. on, he has a family. Like, uh, yeah. Think of the children. <laughs> because when I had co-workers in my, in my job, like, in my department, well, I used to feel so sorry for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is deep. Like, if I could, I'd give you a pound every hour of yeah. my paycheck. Like, why is it, yeah, that I'm more active, I'm younger, I can do these jobs. Yeah. You're struggling, and like, you're older. Like, it's physically, like... I think that's on the government. Them. I don't think it's on the job. All right, say no, Boris. Oh, no. What? <laughs> no, Rishi? But I think Rishi? If, yeah, yeah, no. I think if you have depend dependents, like, you have four or five kids or whatever, and... London living wage is obviously oh, yeah, not enough to survive of four or five kids. The again, government has to step in and give on you them. Wait, on but them. then again, in the it's same not on breath, the company. in the very same breath, there what? is a lot of lot of benefits for people with kids out there in the UK. Like there they're are. helping families a lot, so but they have to meet a certain. Th there is. Like there's like childhood. universal credit. There's child benefit. Yeah, but not better. everyone. Not everyone. But, but, um, no, 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 everyone can get that. Oh, not? not everyone qualifies for that. No yeah. one qualifies for that. That's if the point. If you work, bro, universal credit is already gone. Yeah. You can't. Uh, if you work working. a minimum wage job, you can't get universal credit. What should we do about this? I don't know. <laughs> if you're oh, not, <laughs> if you're not at the threshold, <laughs> it's peak for you, and yeah. that's what I hate. And if both members of the family are working, yeah, they're working. You add to the annual income yeah. of the home, it's, so it's even there, more. There's so many rules and regulations that I hate. Bear goes into it. Wait. And on that note, yeah, sign the petition below. <laughs> oh my God, I'll probably find one to put it there. Please find one. Find your the petition, oh, sign it below. I found that so deep. Sorry, why am I? I don't care about this job, yeah? And you care about this job so much because it's literally feeding your kids. Bruh, you need this You need this job, whereas I want this job. Wait. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, it's true. It's yeah. a want for you. It's not a need. Yeah. If I got like, fired. It's luxury for you. Yeah, yeah. if I got fired, I'm good. You if didn't you got, blink when you got fired. But the mother that blink. got fired mm. blinked. And I, I still had a reaper. Screen my munched head. as well. I still had food in the fridge. Whereas <laughs> she said she screen munched. You're taking the mic. <laughs> she said. Sorry. <laughs> she said you didn't blink when you got fired. But the person, but the mother who got fired, screen munched. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Oh. I'm not. Well, Allah, I'm not taking the piss out of them. Like I'm here. Like I stand for I you. I stand with you guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, no, I don't. I generally think that they should get paid more. And also, it's I hate. Hard the, out here. Like also, one thing I hate. Yeah. Why is it that you have to work your ass off to be a team leader just to get paid one pound more? And then you have more One pound. Well, like, don't give me the pound. 
I don't want all of that responsibility. No. One pound. Come on, you have less responsibility. As Come a team off leader. it. Team My leader. team leaders were doing jack. No, I shot. Oh, I shot. One shot floor. Your job. <laughs> not like, everyone's like like job. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> like, come nah. on, man. And if I had team leaders in the home department, wallahi, he had yeah. more responsibility. And that's why one of the guys in my department never wanted to be a team leader, even though he got offered it yeah. like four times. Well, Bro, I mean? I'm going to be honest. Even I, I was just offered a team leader in my, in my old job. I said, no, that's it's too much It just seems like it's a bunch of admin Actually, and like responsibility. Well, it's too much, yeah, to be you're honest. you're thinking about just your I'm department. thinking about generally manage, managerial no. No, no, I just I'm thinking, thinking about Phil, who was her team leader, who didn't do Jack. His name was Lucian, that's fine. Lucian. Yeah, he didn't do Jack. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It's Ramadan. I, I didn't swear. Ramadan. Ramadan. I, I didn't swear. Ramadan. I said. I, I said Jack. Shh. I'm joking. But um, yeah, nah. I, you know what it is Anyways, the, the yeah, worst yeah, thing in this life. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The worst thing that just like, actually not the worst. It's not the <laughs> But the thing that makes you like, oh, when what? you walk past a shop or something, or you go in a shop and there's an old man. Don't say that. I hate when you speak about old people. It makes me cry. But that's what I'm talking about. No. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. When Mine I see it, my heart just goes. No, Mine is restaurant. No, but that's what I mean. Any, the any restaurant. Driver. Like when I see old people working, I'm like, why? <gasps> Guys, I have a story, and Sadia, I'm so sorry, but I have to say the story. Basically, one day, Sadia, it was actually twice, twice, Sadia was driving, yeah? Um, and basically, she was just stuck behind this car, and she was like, why isn't this guy moving? Oh, why isn't he moving? I was in, there. I was in and there. she beeped, <laughs> and he moved to the other lane. She was like, thank she God. Past. Then she drove past, it was an old man in the driver's seat. Do you know why I remember it? Because we all went... Oh, and oh. Like, it was really, yeah. Anyways. Because all, all of us were like, why is it going so fast? Guys, I mean, so slow. old people, like, just, oh, my God. If you want to find a quick way to make me cry, show me an old person in a restaurant sitting alone and just, like, eat. Oh guys, I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys. I genuinely used to search for jobs, yeah. <laughs> Don't laugh. I used to search for jobs back in the day, yeah, and be like, um, jobs where I can just go to care homes and just talk to old people. Oh, I'm not joking. joking. All I want to do is have a conversation with you because I know it's lonely. There. I know it's lonely. Care home jobs. I know, I know, but I don't want to like touch like poo. She's privileged. <laughs> She's privileged. Sorry, sorry. No, I don't She's that like, I don't <laughs> You added that, Elisha. She's like, I'm a chatty, I ain't clean up your shit. <laughs> no, I don't have the qualifications to be a nurse, but I want to just speak to you. Cause I, I know it's lonely. I know it's lonely. Yeah. And more time, they have stories for days. I will like, never understand people that put their parents in care yeah. I'll never, unless I won't I'm judge. your family's dead. Like, it doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah. I, I will judge. I'm sorry, I will. No, I, I won't judge because I will judge. circumstances, I can't lie. I will like, judge you actually regardless. never know. No, I will judge. No, trust me, you never know. Because imagine, okay, look There here. are some circumstances. I'll set the scene. Got. I'll set the scene. Imagine, sorry. I'm talking about, imagine if, like, the kid obviously, like, is disabled or something. One. That you're caring for someone else. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or if, like, the kid's, like, a drug dealer or do you know what I mean like like just, just stuff like that where like they're not fit to, 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 to take care of them do you know what I mean like I would rather uh, them the be in a home unfit. yeah like I'd rather oh, them be in a home than be taken care of an unfit person if that makes sense do you I know can't what I mean? like there's so much stuff that goes into it because let's there's say, so much let's say you're somebody wait, wait, wait. Well in care homes, I know I no, know no, no, but you can choose a better care home like okay. a more privileged care yeah. home whatever but there's some situations where let's say both you and your husband or the wife and the husband are both working nine to five and there's no one at home to actually take care of your mother. Yeah, what happens then? That too, because that's actually so deep. You know deep. you can Some pay for nurses to come to your house. In-home carers are not that accessible. It's not that accessible, well, yeah. But you can still do it. You, you can still yeah. do it. You know what, I'm speaking in a place from ignorance because I've never been in that position. <laughs> so I don't want to speak on it, but I do think it's a I don't know, sign. I agree. No one should ever put their no home in a care, yeah, yeah. Her, uh, parent in a care home. It's even shamed upon in our religion. Like, you have to take care of your, yeah. your parents. But I think there are some situations yeah. where it cannot be avoided. But like, like even then, kids, you better make sure that they're being treated that's well. That's what I'm in saying, yeah. Home, and they're being treated. There's parents, I mean? let me just give you the other POV of why I say it. There's parents out there that are at old age and they will still take care of their disabled yeah, kids until true. at old age. Y yes, yeah. true. And true, they're true. also unfit, but they're taking you get it. So yeah, you should reciprocate yes, that love back. No, 100 percent I just think like it's so like yeah. oh, I don't know. Just but saying. do you know what it is though? I think I'm speaking of the people, by the way, that just put them in there and they're able to Oh, oh no, that is bad. Yeah. yeah. I'm not speaking about people that obviously when it comes to it, they can't. Yeah. Mm. Like it's worse for them to take care of it than compared to an actual nurse yeah. who's qualified. I'm speaking about the people that are literally fit, but they've got their life to live. So they I put can't their lie, that's in. so mad to me. Yeah. That's so mad to me. Anyways, um, but yeah. Crazy. That's, that's who I was speaking about. If you guys know of any care homes and there's all people there that want to have a conversation, just please DM me. Because <laughs> I will go, I will be there. I'm, I think I'm you going. actually have to have- I'm um, running. Like um, credential. Yeah, no, no. In. Like I think, no, no. There's schemes, guys, yeah. where like there's like people who like who just go there and, and just speak to the old people. It's so nice. I want to do it. If there's any out there, find me. 
But yeah, I love old people. I think we should actually wrap it up now. Uh, Anyways, guys, uh, that uh, is uh, the end of the video. If you see the studio more, don't ask questions. If you don't see it more, don't ask questions. But this year, we're on to bigger and better, inshallah. And hopefully, and inshallah, we can either stay in the studio or go on to bigger and better. Yeah, anything <laughs> after this will only be better. So yeah. moving on, it's been your boy Aisha. It's been your boy Dua. I'm passing my own name. <laughs> and your boy Muna. Thank you for tuning <laughs> in. Bye. Shout out to the Spotify. Shout out to the Apple Podcast. Shout out to the Spotify. Shout out to all the listeners. I said hello. I said hello. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Justin. Okay. Let me Apple text juice. and see what the... Orange juice. Can you text and see what the script is?